This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the TheCreativeDojo.net. Welcome to an After Effects quick tip video. Today I wanna to share some tips on how to kind of stay organized with After Effects, kind of increase your workflow. Just some minor tips that I think a lot of people may not know of when working inside the application. Let's go ahead and get started. The first quick tip here is for those of you who find yourself creating the same folder structure or project template structure, whether you're working with a team or with yourself, um, a lot of times you'll find yourself creating the same folder structures all the time. You can actually tell After Effects to kind of set this up automatically based on a template project. So for example, let's say you find yourself kind of always creating a folder called graphics, maybe another folder typically called titles, maybe another folder for all your images, maybe a footage folder, and maybe within the graphics folder, you may have another folder called logo, and we'll drag that into the graphics folder, and then maybe a lower thirds folder or titles, for an example. And then maybe you have a blank composition that's 1080p for your main comp, just to kind of get things going. And let's say you always kind of create the same folder structure, the same layout right here. Um, and let's say you typically um, work in 16 bits per channel for whatever reason. And so this is kind of like your go-to base structure. So you can actually go ahead and save this project as a template project. So just go ahead and save it normally. Control Command S. So I just saved it called template.aep. And if you go into the After Effects settings real quick here, and we'll go down to New Project, you can actually go ahead and check New Project Loads Template, browse and choose your template.aep project file. And so every time you open a new project, After Effects will go ahead and load up the folder structures, the color management, all that stuff um, as kind of the blank new project. And of course, you can also name your solids folder. You can change the name of the folder to pretty much whatever you want, hit OK. And just like that, if I go ahead and delete all this here, and let's just say I create a new project for whatever reason, file new project, hit don't save. And you know, this is a brand new project. I created my whole folder structure from the ground up, as well as even my blank dummy comp right here at 16 bits per channel. So just a quick little tidbit here to kind of get the ball rolling faster so you can focus on the creative aspect instead of focusing on the kind of initial setup every single time. The second quick tip is about After Effects labels. Now by default, After Effects has 16 predefined colored labels for your layers and stuff like that. And so you can go in here and click on a label, select a color, and you have a labeled layer. And these colors actually kind of suck. The whole point of labels is to kind of make things kind of stand out. So you can kind of differentiate layers and other items and stuff like that really quickly. And the default colors are kind of muted, kind of desaturated, and they don't really stand out. And on top of that, they're kind of ugly. So what you can do is you can actually go into the After Effects preferences and you can go down into labels. And here you can go in here and manually define all the label colors and name them. This is kind of a tedious process. There are tools like labels by Rentime that will actually automate this. And they have like color templates you can download really quickly and automate this. But you can do this manually as well. And I think a very, very popular kind of color scheme palette that people use a lot, it's very, very popular and very useful, is the Google's Material UI. And you can Google like Materials UI 16 color scheme because uh, there's 16 label colors and find a whole bunch of templates and different design palettes that people have made based on Google's Material UI. I'll post the one that I use down below as well as the hex code and label colors. So once you change all of your label colors as well, your label names you get something that looks like this it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing a lot more clean a lot more organized and most importantly it stands out a lot more so the colors pop more so you can kind of distinguish between different layer groups and such so a very functional as well as an aesthetic kind of change to after effects these should kind of be the default color labels in my opinion and at the very very top you can define preset label colors for certain things. For example, you can change all the text layers in your projects to be a red label or a cyan label or a teal label or a green label, whatever you want. You can kind of define it right here. Another hidden trick about labels is that you can actually go ahead and click on a label color. And there's this kind of option up here that's kind of, you know, somewhat overlooked by a lot of people. It selects label group. If you do that, you actually select all the layers in your composition that has the same label color. Just a quick little tip, FYI. The third quick tip is about saving your workspace. It's kind of a fundamental thing, but this is kind of how I like to work most of the time. If it's a medium sized project, not a lot of layers, this is kind of my go-to default setup where I have my effects controls here, my effects and presets here, and all this other stuff right here to the side. And this sometimes gets messed up when you update After Effects where you install a new copy of After Effects, for example. So it's a good idea to kind of save this kind of workspace. So set up After Effects the way you like it and then go into your windows, go to workspace and go to save as new workspace. I'll call this Dojo Space One. 
and I'll hit OK. Now let's say I'm working on a different project and I have a lot of layers that I work with. Like I need to maximize my vertical space. I can change my layout to something like this and save it as a second workspace, for example. And now I can go ahead and switch between the two workspaces very quickly between my digital space one and two. And I can just kind of revert my layouts that way very, very quickly with one click. Sometimes you may need to go ahead and go to workspace and just reset that current workspace to kind of fix some of the default things that you did. Um, but yeah, just kind of the quick to kind of switch between layouts. Very, very handy if you do kind of two different things, for example. And the very last quick tip is a very, very simple one. And that is the auto save features in After Effects. Now, obviously you should be having auto save turned on. It doesn't take that much space and it's very, very, very handy in case After Effects crashes, which in my experience crashes all the time. Um, so for me, typically I like to set it to a maximum project version of five, still so create and save five different versions of my current project. Um, but I believe that the default 20 minutes, it's way too late. I mean, you can do so much within 20 minutes. And if this crashes, you'll lose 20 minutes of work, which is a little bit too much in my opinion. So typically I like to set it to around five to 10. It can get annoying for After Effects to keep on saving all the time. Um, so you kind of have to balance this out between, you know, your workflow, but typically 10 minutes or so is a pretty good um, interval for me in case I am doing a very, very large project. I don't want to lose 20 minutes of work. Um, 10 is a bit more manageable and you can go ahead and set an auto save location. Mine is almost always saved to next to project. Hit OK, and that would just kind of keep seeing some headache in the future and kind of hopefully help you save time. Before I go, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsor over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace isn't one platform to create an amazing website, but it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make the way you want it to look like without having any code or knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support. And best of all, if you use promo code Dojo at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the Dojo. Check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys have any other quick tips that you want to share, leave them down below in the comments. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Vincent and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.